Oh, what the fuck? Yo, that scared the shit out of me. What the fuck was that? Ooh, we got a fancy new background. I like it. All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Black Ops Cold War Season 2. I stayed up late to record this like a fucking tryhard. It's a little after midnight. All the new content's here. We got reset to level 1 and shit, and my emblem is gone for some reason. Oh, no, I guess they must have just fixed the glitch, because I never actually bought this emblem like I was saying. It just gave it to me for some reason. I still have this World at War 1, though. Anyway, let's check out the battle pass here. Got a couple new operator skins. Is it just me, or does she kind of look like the girl from Horizon Zero Dawn, or am I just crazy? Yeah, pretty much all the standard shit. We got the new AR here, the Farah 83. I don't buy Battle Pass tiers, so it's probably gonna be a while until I can actually try that thing. We got a Barrett bundle here. Wait, can I uh, look at this? That looks pretty garbage, to be honest. There's the new SMG. Kind of looks like the ISO from uh, Modern Warfare. Ooh, wait, this is actually really cool. Look at this. What is this for? But wait, this actually looks sick. Look at this. That's so awesome. Oh, it's like actually reactive. It goes by your kills. That's so cool. Oh, I can't wait to unlock that. That looks awesome. And then here at tier 100, we got our uh, other emblems and stuff. Yeah, all right, fair enough. I like the green, by the way. Like, I'm a sucker for a solid emerald green, so I'm game with it. Oh, also, that reminds me. I wanted to change my emblem to the, the season one emblem here. I literally, I've had this forever. I just kept forgetting to do it. I kept using that stupid clown one. All right, so we got Apocalypse here, which I think is a new map. I know they also, actually, is it in the game yet? Let me see. Well, I don't see it in the map list, but I think they said they added uh, Miami Strike. Hang on, let me pull up the patch notes real quick. Oh, they also updated some of the maps in the game, it looks like. They changed some things on cartel they reduced the bush height thank god okay so it doesn't look like they added miami strike yet unless i'm stupid wait they added a death machine oh yeah i did see that they added the death machine what is this oh my god oh my fucking dude why the fuck is the death machine 2200 points i mean unless this thing is a complete piece of shit which i guess it could be dude everyone and their mother's gonna be running around with one of these are you kidding me well all right i mean i guess we'll try that out while we're at it outbreak event Oh, you gotta- I have to do shit in Warzone? Dude, I don't wanna play Warzone. What do I even get for this? Oh, in Warzone kills- Oh, wait, there's zombies in Warzone. Oh, okay, wait, hang on. I might actually do this. So anyway, it doesn't look like they added Miami Strike yet unless I just missed it. I'll probably just hop into Apocalypse here and check out the new map and I'll play Miami Strike whenever I get to it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's pretty much the content for season two. I guess we'll just check out the new map now. Hopefully the entirety of this game's player base is not a bunch of gremlins, even though it's already almost 1230 in the morning, so it absolutely probably is. Oh, kill confirmed. We're not starting with kill confirmed. No, thank you. Oh, and it's giving me the same lobby over and over again. Okay. Apparently me and these other 10 people are the only people online at the moment. Ooh. Yo, wait, hold on. This cutscene's actually really cool. All right, I'll give it to him. That's one of the better looking intro cutscenes that we've had so far. Yo, can we just say fuck the game for a minute? I can just grab some of this and bounce. What does this map even look like? I mean, the layout of the map seems a little odd, but it doesn't seem too big, so honestly, it might not be that big of a deal. I can't really tell yet, though. Like, I'm gonna need to learn the spawns and, like, figure out where people come from. Also, this is kill confirmed, so, like, basically all bets are off on game flow. Kill confirmed is awful. At least on this game. I used to really like kill confirmed back in M Dub 3, but I don't know, man. On almost any game except for that one, it's never really played very well. At least not to me. Oh, also, now that we're however long into the video, might be a bad time to mention this, but if my audio sounds weird, let me know in the comments. Starting with this video, which honestly, this is probably not the video to start it with, but basically in an attempt to improve my videos in some way, shape, or form, I've changed how I'm recording my voice, and I'm also changing how I'm processing my voice just to see if I can make it sound a little nicer. Now, obviously, if it sounds like shit on my end, you're never gonna see this, but obviously, I'm not gonna catch everything, and it might sound different to you than it does to me, so, you know, if you think this sucks, or it sounds like shit, or you wish I would go back to the old way, definitely let me know. All right, wait, hold on, I'm dog shit. I am literally the worst player I have ever seen. Of course. All right, well, we got the death machine. Let's, uh, let's see how awful this is gonna be. No fucking way. No fuck. Wait a minute, you can shoot through that wall? All right, whatever. I mean, honestly, I deserve that. Wait, that that's not okay for 2200 score, dude. I know I only killed two people with it, but yo, that's gonna become a problem real fucking quick. They need to amp that shit up to like at least 3000. Huh? 
Huh? All right, I'm gonna go off on a limb and just assume they didn't do any weapon balancing in this. Wait, hold on. This head glitch is actually ridiculous. Why is this here? There better not be a hard point back here. That's gonna be awful. Do -do 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 -do. Their whole team's running cold-blooded. That's amazing. Boy, I love calling in a cruise missile and just having zero people pop up on the radar. That's the best. Dude. Yeah, they didn't nerf anything. The stoner's still absolutely ridiculous. All right. I was hoping they'd add a balance patch of some kind, but it doesn't look like they did. Sit the fuck down. Fucking slithering around like a demonic fucking snake. Absolutely not. Dude, this guy hasn't moved. He has been here the entire game. Dude, the way some people play this game, it just blows my fucking mind, honestly. Look at that, dude. I just got mapped by a MAC-10. Are you joking? How is this shit still allowed, honestly? I mean, Kill Confirm sucks no matter what map it's on, honestly, but I like the aesthetic. I think there might be a few too many camping spots. It's really gonna depend how people play it. Also, look at this high-level gameplay right here, by the way. This guy did not move once for that entire kill cam. But yeah, the thing with new maps is, like, you can never really tell how good they're gonna be until after a little bit when, like, people start learning them and they learn the camping spots and they learn, like, where the lines of sight are and shit. Because, like, I can't tell you how many times and this goes back even before this whole you know live updates thing like i'm talking way back to like dlc packs and shit where a new map would come out and it would seem really good at first but then as people started to get used to it they learned the spots and stuff the maps just became unbearably bad and then the flip side would happen as well where like i know maps that came out that i really didn't like at first and then they started to grow on me as time went on cheshire park from modern warfare is a fantastic example i hated cheshire park when it first came out and then as the map kind of went through its life cycle and whatnot i started liking it a lot Lot more. Also, yeah, dude, that death machine, that is, uh, that's not okay. That shit should not be 2200 score. That should be at least, like, 3000 or something. It kills entirely too quickly. I know it's got to spin up, and I didn't really get a good look at, like, the movement speed and whatnot, but I imagine it slows you down a little bit. But, dude, like, there is no fucking reason at all. Like, if everyone in a game's running around with a death machine and they all start using it at, like, relatively the same time, ooh, it's gonna be bad. Also, I didn't mention this before. I started using the, uh, speed mag on the Tundra again. I keep going back and forth on this. I don't know how much gameplay I've shown with the speed mag. The seven round speed mag, I mean. Because, like, the thing is, when you're looking at the difference in ADS speed... That, that guy's terrible. You absolutely should have killed me. Oh, hey, I got the new AR. But yeah, the difference between 572 and uh, 604, which is what it pushes it up to, it's really not that bad of a difference. The only reason I ever switch off of it is sometimes I have trouble with the shot. Because, like, you know, when you're pop-shotting people, you have to, like, be able to shoot right as it gets in the scope. How the fuck did you know? He saw the tip of my gun go through the... Dude. <laughs> This guy, I love this game. Oh my god. Also, one thing I am curious about, so it goes up to Prestige 8 now, right? Which, I mean, like, they reset us and all that shit. But what I want to know is, like, so do I have to go through 8 Prestiges, or do I only have to go through 3 extra from last season? Because, like, if I gotta do 8 Prestiges, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna get through that. I don't even think I got to level 300 in the before the end of the season. The fuck is this guy doing? Oh, nice, a Farah. I'm horrible. Can somebody drop me the gun in like a situation where I can pick it up and actually assess my surroundings and maybe kill somebody with it? I would like to see if these new guns are OP or not. Oh, that's a death machine. Yup, and there it goes. Dude, why is it 2200 score? There's no reason for that. There is absolutely no reason under the sun that it should be like that. I don't care. Get off me. Of course, their whole fucking team's in the room, too, and then he just jumps around the corner like a fucking animal. I do like this map, though. This is actually pretty cool. I feel like this will be fun for, uh, Hardpoint. Why is it everywhere I go, their whole fucking team is there? Every time, without fail. Like, I never just run into one guy. Yo, can the death machine spin up? It spun up for like 10 years. What happened there? It like glitched off the screen for a minute. Did you see that? I am the only person on my team going positive. That's awesome. Dude, everybody's just jumping around, man. That one first game just wrecked my whole fucking skill base. Like, holy shit. Oh, yep, there's the death machine. That's, I can already tell that's gonna become a problem. That is gonna be a gigantic problem. Dude, look at that. I can't even get my gun up. Holy shit, that kills quickly. I take no blame for this. This is entirely my team's fault. Uh, nothing ever changes. Anyway, sorry, I wish I could show off the other weapons more, but like, I've only seen people using the AR, and the way those last two games went, I didn't really get to do anything with it. Oh, okay, so apparently Miami strikes in season, so I can't show that 
that to you guys. But anyway, I think I'll wrap this one up here. You guys get the gist. Season two is here. The new map seems pretty good. I would have liked for them to do weapon tuning. I mean, I don't know if they did and I just like didn't see it or whatever, but it didn't seem like it. The MAC-10 is still really strong. The stoner is still really strong. And dude, that death machine, like whose fucking idea was that score, honestly? Like Vaughn, Tony, please, guys, you gotta, I give it a week before this gets out of control. But anyway, that's about it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content on season two. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.